Mr President in office, the Irish vote against the treaty has made your impressively prepared presidency more problematic. It has also made the case for a practical problem-solving Europe stronger than ever. The energy and climate packages become more urgent every day. Capping VAT is a short-term stop. Europe should be cutting its dependence on oil and gas. We need much more investment in renewable energy, small-scale and localised to bring household bills down, and large-scale, such as using the Union for the Mediterranean to invest in high-voltage solar thermal power production in North Africa. On Tuesday, the G8, which is the source of nearly two-thirds of the world's CO2, approved an emissions reduction target of 50%. But the emerging economies are right to say that the target should be higher, perhaps 80%, with interim targets. To stabilise food prices, we need good ideas such as the recent CAP reforms of Commissioner Fisher Bill, not protectionism, however disguised. The truth is that people care more about the petrol price and the bread bill than about the grand aims of our union. Today, nobody should say qu'il mange de la brioche. But migration will be manageable only when we manage the despair that leads so many to risk so much to come here. And you are right to put the focus on migration. Routes for legal migration, a crackdown on people smuggling, using reform of our farm policy to kick-start growth in the countries of origin. It may be optimistic to ask a French presidency to liberalize markets, but to bring security within our borders, we must bring hope beyond them. There is another way in which your presidency can break new ground. France gave us the rights of man. Now France must lead in their defense. At home, by pressing ahead with the anti-discrimination directive, and abroad, by anchoring peace in the Balkans in a European Union future, by using the Union for the Mediterranean to improve human rights in North Africa, by uniting in our dealings with Russia and condemning China's crackdown on dissent. Monsieur le Président en office, n'allez pas à Beijing. Jouez collectif. C'est Voltaire qui nous a dit. C'est Voltaire qui nous a dit les mortels sont égaux. Ce n'est pas la naissance, c'est la seule ver vertu qui fait la différence. And by taking a lead, Europe can demonstrate its virtue and demand that the dignity of every man and woman be recognized. President in office, to succeed, you will need to build consensus. You will need Parliament, Council and Commission to work together to a common agenda set by 27 member states and this House. And if we are to argue it must be about that agenda, not its messengers. You have plunged into a polemic with the President of the ECB and with two commissioners, but they represent our union and the policies we have agreed. It is not the European way to divide and rule. We must stand on our principles, but work together to achieve our common goals. Monsieur le Président, je sais, j'arrive à la fin, mais devant le mari de Madame Carla Bruni, vous me donnez 60 petites secondes pour ma dernière minute. If, President, if you stand on your principles and let us work together to achieve common goals, if you do that, Liberals and Democrats will work with you.